Hello, or as we say in my home region of Bavaria, Servus. You probably associate the southern part of Germany with traditional clothing, beautiful alpine landscapes, and beer. Beer and more beer. You probably don't think of space, but you should. Bavaria and Munich in particular are the hubs of an exciting and very fluid industry that includes the entire country. One that's rocketing skyward in terms of turnover and opportunities. Isar Aerospace is named after Munich's main river, but it has its sights set far higher. Founded in 2018 as a spin-off of Munich's Technical University, ESA specializes in small carrier rockets for putting moderately sized satellites into space. In what's known as new space, the rule of thumb is that bigger is not better. New space is not only a final, but also a very lucrative frontier. A projected 10,000 satellites will have been launched into orbit by 2028, and 86% of them will be small scale. So there's lots of business to be had. Fortune Business Insights predicts the global micro launcher sector will be worth $26 billion by 2027. And investors abound. Germany's leading industrial association calculates that German new space startups attracted nearly twice as much venture capital in 2020 as in 2019. Innovative companies based in Bavaria and elsewhere in Germany are competing with the established players in this market. They include High Impulse from Neuenstadt am Kocher, Rocket Factory Augsburg, and of course, ESA Aerospace. It's been making lots of headlines of late, completing its first entirely in-house produced rocket engine in early 2021 and raising over $90 million in its last round of funding. And in May, it won an 11 million euro prize from the German government for rocket launching companies. 2021 was a quite successful year for us. We signed an exclusive launch pad with Andoja Space Center in Norway, which is great because it ensures us a access to a very reliable launch infrastructure. Then we signed our first customer, Airbus, which is also a great milestone for us because it shows the positive market recognition of ICE Aerospace. And most recently we won the DLR Micro Launcher Competition, which was awarded with 11 million and it secured us the German government as a customer. So the mission of ICE Aerospace is to lower the entry barriers to space significantly for its customers. For example, we want to allow our customers to book a flight to orbit within days rather than years. We have a very strong connection to this region. For example, the Technical University Munich has a very strong space heritage and therefore it's to no surprise that, for example, our founders and many of the initial employees met there. There is also a lot going on space-wise in northern Germany, specifically in the North Sea near Bremen. There, a consortium called the German Offshore Spaceport Alliance, or GOSA, wants to create the first offshore launch platform for small modern carrier rockets. The project has the support of the German government, which sees it as crucial to Germany's space strategy. We, we see an era starting right now where so many satellites are being launched as never before in history. And it, they are getting even more and more and more. And right now you can build a startup and, and set out a lot of tiny satellites and, and make fantastic things out of that. And so uh, we focused very much on launch vehicles over the last years. And we made a competition for launch companies. And right now uh, the first uh, private startup, ESA Aerospace, uh, uh, they won a tender and now we will launch at least two satellites with them. And there are further more startups upcoming, and so we want to create and build up uh, a new space launcher business right here. The creation of a German launching pad would mean that companies like Berlin's Planet Lab would no longer have to rely on sites in Kazakhstan or New Zealand. Planet Labs Germany is a subsidiary of the American Earth Imaging firm of the same name. Infrastructural improvements would unleash the potential of the new space industry and help many young companies scale their businesses. The new space industry is highly technical and innovative. And for a country with an engineering footprint like Germany, it positions itself as a top location. 
also considering its plans to commercially launch small carrier rockets here from the North Sea. With around 125 companies here, a third of which are being startups, spillovers to other fields of businesses will create a completely new value chain that, that coming down from the orbit will push data-driven industries and enable other new applications. For instance, autonomous driving in the future automotive sector to enable more reliable and safer network communications between the vehicles. So German new space is a dynamic sector where the only limit on opportunities is entrepreneurs' imaginations. If you think you've got the right stuff to blast off in this market, Germany Trade and Invest is here to help with advice and information. All for free because we're a government agency. Get in touch at gtai.com and give us a like or share if this video launched some business ideas. Till next time, stay well and Servus aus dem All!